Winter's here, the snow is falling on a car As we drive for miles to that little town called home Tinsel hangs from every corner of the house what is up everyone this is Gosu here from serene art so today we are going to learn how to design this simple birdie flyer in pizzle up so without further ado let's jump into it so the first thing that we're going to do is to delete everything and start from the scratch so for this tutorial we're going to use the default background size which is a squared image size so that's what we're going to use for this video and of course i'm going to change the background color to white so let me just pick color white and start with it good so at this point what i'm going to do is to enter some test just to blend with the background so i'm going to enter a test like bed day and of course i'm going to change the font for it just to make it a little bit bold so i'll make it capitalized and i'll go and select a font called akira expanded so let me look for it over here good akira expanded demo and once i tap on it i'll bring it down here then come to the size tool and make sure i increase the size of it just the way i want it to be i think this is okay for me so what i'm going to do is to make sure i make this test into two just by pulling the other side of it making sure that it is being divided into two so i think i'm okay with what i have over here well let's say let me just reduce the size of it a little bit again and see how it is going to appear of course i'm going to rotate it this way so as i'm rotating it i hold down on this anchor point over here that enable me to rotate it okay so i'll just put it a little bit slant like this i'll leave it over here tap on a check mark and go ahead and to uh, to reduce the opacity of it i think this is not bad so let's use nine percent and of course let's come back to the space in the line spacing and reduce the space between the test here i think this should be fine after this point we make a duplicate of this by tapping on copy once we tap on copy we bring it down like this just to make sure we have it's arranged well now we can go ahead and lock the layers and this is what we will be having all right so this is how we start the whole work and of course i'm going to import one background image and add it to the background so you are going to have a link to download this background image in the video description so you don't have to worry yourself struggling to you know lo locate it online no you already have it here in Pizzle Lab, so I'm just going to stretch it by using the relative size tool over here. And at this point, I have to reduce the opacity of it as well. I think 14 is not bad, so I'll leave it at 14. I'll go ahead and look, lock this layer as well. So at this point, we are pretty much done with everything. What we need to do right now is to start, you know, entering the test and bringing the person's image so what we have to do first is to enter a shape so we are going to use a circular shape so we tap over here again once we tap on it we select the cycle and of course we can change the color of the cycle but at this point i am not going to change the color of the cycle what i'm going to do is to reduce the size of it instead and i'll place it over here once i place it over here i'll tap on a check mark after tapping on a check mark i'll run down to the shadow and give it some shadow at this point i have to tap on a plus sign over here once i tap on it i'll have to bring the shadow down i mean i'm reducing the opacity of the shadow a little bit to this way and over here i'll increase the blur radius a little bit and also move the y offset a little bit like this so i think i'm pretty much cool with what i'm having over here so I'll tap on a check mark like this and this is what I'll be having over here. So at this point, I'll go ahead and bring in one other element which I need to make my work look awesome. And that element is confetti. So I'm just going to locate it quickly and bring it into our working area and see how it's going to help us. So let, let's quickly locate 
the confetti and of course i'm going to leave the link in the video description for you to go ahead and download all these resources so you don't have to worry about you know getting them all right i have to make sure your work is simple by providing the resources for you having got this confetti inside our working space the next thing that we have to do is to add some little effect to the circular shape we've inserted over here so we are going to insert another circular shape but this time around we are going to reduce the opacity to zero meaning there will be no color in the middle over here now what we need to do after that is to come and add some stroke effect i think the stroke size of three is okay so we are going to put it around this particular cycle over here just like this now we can actually change the color of this stroke but before we do that i would like to show you something right so i'll just tap on a check mark and this is what we'll be having over here and remember you're going to change the color of the stroke right now so for us to change the color of the stroke i'm going to import our subjects the persons whose birthday fly we are designing i'm going to import the person's image so let me do that quickly because i want us to pick some color from the person's image and use it in a design so let's see if we can locate the image quickly and you know use it and get our color good we got our image over here and what we have to do is to tap on this particular cycle over here that will give us this and after tapping on this we need it to be in one is to one aspect ratio so we have to tap on this over here so let's tap on this and of course we'll be having everything in this format so at this point we can tap on a check mark and this is what we'll be having now we can reduce the size of it place it at the middle over here like this i think this is pretty much cool right now we can use the relative position tool to actually place it well over here and see how best it's going to look now we can go ahead and lock it since we don't want to get ourselves you know kind of distracted as we work along now let's go ahead and change you know the stroke size of this because we've already brought in the subject now we can go and tap on edit once we tap on edit we go to the stroke column once we get to the stroke column we'll tap on a plus sign over here and tap on this once we tap on it we'll pick a color from the subject so let's see what color we can pick so we pick this and i'm going to deepen the color a little bit like this so i think we are cool now good this is perfect for the design all right so what i'm going to do now is to tap on a check mark and make sure i position it well by using the relative position tool like this and of course i'm going to do the same thing for all the cycle over here just to make sure they are of the same alignment i'm doing the same thing to the image as well good i think we are pretty much ready to go now good so let me just lock these two layers as well now at this point what we have to do is to start adding some other shapes so i'm going to enter a circular shape again and of course this time around we have to give it this coloration then i pick up the cycle over here and what i have to do is to reduce the size of it that is the only job i have to do over here once i'm done reducing the size of it to my preference let's say like this i'll have to tap on a check mark over here and make sure that i position it at a convenient place for me all right it doesn't necessarily mean that whatever i place my ears to be at the same place no what is important over here is for you to understand what i am doing and also do the same thing in your own way okay so i'm going to insert another shape again i mean the cycle again give it the same color and this time around i'll have to reduce the size a little bit more than the first one so let's say something like this and i'll tap on a check mark then i'll have to bring it to the other side of the design really quick then i can move it down and see how best it's going to look so i think this is pretty much cool for me good i like this 
Now the next thing that I have to do is to actually enter the, the test like happy birthday. So let me just go ahead and do that quickly. So we have happy birthday. We're good. So for this one as well, we are going to use the font called Akira Expanded. So let me locate it quickly. So I've located my Akira Expanded over here and i'll have to use the alignment called center alignment over here and of course i'll bring it over here then increase the size of the test a little bit just as i want it to be then i'll reduce the size i mean the space between the test let's say to something like this i think this is okay and of course i have to change the color to that of the pink that we added so i'll use the relative position tool to position it at the middle like this then use this position tool itself to bring it down a little bit like this now i can go ahead and lock it for now good so at this point you may want to enter the person's name which let's say uh for this one i'm not going to use the person's real name but i'm just going to use some you know imaginary name okay Kofi Edmond or Kofi uh, okay Kofi Kingston let me just use this name all right so for this one we are also going to use you know the same Akira expanded that we use for the happy birthday test we're gonna use the same Akira expanded okay so we have to work on it I think this one let's reduce the size a little bit instead so I think 32 is okay now we can push it at the middle like this then probably change the color of it to any other color that we want so i'm just going to pick one color and see i think this blue is not bad so i'm just going to leave it over here like this and what i have to do now is to enter the message that you want to pass across to the the baby celebrant okay so before i even go ahead with that uh i have to insert some shapes so i'll start with a circular shape again and this time around i'm going to reduce the opacity give it zero then the stroke i'll give it up to 40 and the blur radius this is what i will increase so look at this so the stroke i'm going to give it this color which is that of the pink we used earlier so the blur radius to i'll reduce it a little bit like this and just make sure that what this is perfect so let me bring it down here and reduce the size of it the best way so i think this is okay and of course i'll just bring it down here and i'll make a duplicate of it bring the duplicate to the other side over here what i'm going to do now is to add some rectangular you know shape and for this rectangular shape it's going to be white and I'm going to increase the radius a little bit, then position it well. Of course, I'll reduce the opacity of it. Then make sure I play around with the radius so that it can fit well. So I think this is cool. What I have to do now is to lock the layer and make sure I work with these shapes I inserted first well. So I'll put one over here. Then the second one, I have to position it at the other side well so that it can depict exactly what I want to achieve, right? So if you have it at the edges of this shape i mean the rectangular shape like this it makes the rectangular shape appear with some effects so at this point we can now go ahead and enter the message so i think i have a copy of the message over here let me see good i have a copy of it over here and i'm just going to use the default font in pixel up and of course reduce the size of it then i can bring it onto this and of course i'm going to change the color to that of the pink and i'll leave it over here like this 
now the last thing that we have to do in this design is to enter the date of birth okay so let's say the date is 25th april so i'm just going to enter something like 25th then i'll tap on done and for this particular one let's make it all capitalized and let's use a font called go bold bold so let's see if we have the go bold bold over here good we can now send it to the other side like this and reduce the size of it let's say a little bit i think 28 is not bad so let's leave it there like that and what we are going to do next is to enter april okay so let's make a copy of this change it to april we are assuming this is you know the date and the month everything of the person that is celebrating the birthday so we have to reduce the size of it to fit perfectly under what we have over here so let's say if 25 is going to work out of course let's not forget to change the test color to that of the pink so that everything can be easy for us as we work along at this point i'm just going to enter the year which is 2022 so once i enter the year then we are pretty much done over here we are left with just one element which is actually a shape that we have to add and we are good to go so quickly let's go ahead and import a shape and this shape we are going to reduce the opacity to zero go to stroke give it some stroke effect and change the stroke color to that of the pink then we try to reduce the size of it like this so let's just play around this so we are kind of satisfied good i think this is okay so we cannot tap on the check mark over here and bring down the shape a little bit perfect so this is the simple design that we've actually made in pizzle lab and the only thing that you will actually like to do is to make a duplicate of the confetti and try to bring it on top of all the other elements so let's just make a duplicate of the confetti then probably bring it somewhere here just to add a little bit of effect to your design okay but it is not a must it's just to add some other effects to your design okay it's not a must to do it but if you want to add some other you know effect to your design you can actually do it this way and of course go ahead and save this as ultra so that you can get the highest quality that you want so this is goes we here from serene art and i do hope you've actually learned something from this video and if you do don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel so that each and every time i upload some video you will be able to receive it i hope to see you in the next video bless up